Hello everyone. Happy almost Christmas. Yes, and happy holidays to you. I'm Melissa. Stephanie. And this is the Stephanie and Melissa Show. Yes, 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 yes. And so today we want to talk to you about the holidays could be a little bit stressful for some people. For some people would make it like, hey, it's all good. But we want to talk to you about ways that you can de-stress for the holidays and ways that you can stay on top of your nutrition because that is so important. Because a lot of times everyone's like, oh, it's the holidays, it doesn't matter, I'm on break, you know, I can drink as much as I want, eat as much as I want, whatever I want. And I'm going to wait till January, right? And then January goes strong and what happens in February. Right, so we want to keep you on your toes and give you tips, Absolutely. things that you can do to help the year and not give up. You can still have that drink and still have that cookie, but just don't overindulge, right? So it's finding that balance. So let's get to it. So first part is I want to uh, tell you different ways that we can actually de-stress over the holidays. What better way, and we have our own tools in our toolbox, the breath, right? So one of the ways, there's so many different ways of breathing, and we've done actual videos where we talk about um, ways to breathe, and one of the examples we gave was box breathing, mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of different ways that you can go about breathing. But something very simple, if you're finding yourself very stressed in the moment, just take that few minutes or those few minutes and just take a deep breath in, Maybe do that three, four, or five times, a very simplistic cleansing breath, we call that in yoga. Another thing you can do is also take the time, maybe go on YouTube videos, which I do have a few on my channel, if you'd like to look that up, it is some um, yoga nidra. Yoga nidra is actually a type of meditation where you get to actually really relax too. So it's that meditation where you're in between that awakening phase and that sleeping phase, right? So you can really get into that deep trance and get to learn a little bit more about yourself. So it actually helps you to sleep better as well. So if you do have sleep issues, if you're finding you're very stressed, doing a regular practice of yoga nidra is shown to actually give you or feel like you've get, uh, given yourself eight hours of sleep. So. Wow, isn't that awesome? That is awesome. So take the time, and if you're not used to meditation, start with your breath, you know, just like cleansing breath, and then take two minutes a day. Just breathe, focus on something on the forefront of your mind, right? Or just relax, find something that's happy, right? Or peaceful music. in your mind. Yes, music. Also, we talked about this in our last video, too. There's a lot of other ways to stress or to de-stress, which is coloring, music, dancing. dancing. So find what will work for you. Jump up the net. Yes, yes. You know, even if you're finding that you've got that yin and yang balance, I like to do a practice called, uh, what is that, a uh, uh, pound, you know, with the sticks mm -hmm. and everything. That's my yang, and then also my yin is yoga. So we all have that balance and everything. But the key is to stay strong all year, is to find what is going to work for right? you. Right? Yes, yes. And that means trial and error. Yes, so all oh, this breathing, is right here. meditation, maybe even gentle style yoga practice. So if you're looking to just wind down from the holidays, those are my key tips: meditation, breath, and find what is work. Or find what works for you throughout the year to keep you going, to keep you strong, and that way you won't stress out as much. You'll be able to handle those situations. Absolutely much more. Now, Stephanie, what are ways that we can really, really dig deep and, you know, get into that nutrition and, you know, eat a little bit better, you know, for the holidays? Well, number one, the water. So we want to make sure that we're staying well hydrated. So there's a couple good reasons for that. Um, you, you need it for your body. You need to well hydrate to just get all those cells ignited. You need to have that water also before you go to a function, an event, a dinner, um, whatever, because the water will help satiate you a little bit so you're not walking in starving. If you're drinking alcohol, you definitely need some water to stay hydrated. So you tend to go towards a more sugary, more bubbly, you know, champagne, eggnog. I'm an eggnog person. Um, you want to stay hydrated in between. I've even taken two puddings. Um, 
you know, a shot or two of water to fill up my drinks without watering down the taste effects of them. So that that's a huge thing in it. And the better we're hydrating, the better everything functions, especially the brain. Think about your portions. Um, I went someplace last night with my six-year-old granddaughter, and six different kinds of, of cookies and desserts. You know, she took a nibble out of each one, except the brownie, she ate the brownie. It wasn't very big. But she tasted every one, and for that kid, that was enough. Again, except for the brownie, I get that. She doesn't eat the whole brownie. <laughs> but, so those are the things, take a little bit of everything, take a little nibble, don't be ashamed to ask for, you know, is it okay if I take my plate to go and cover it, you know, whatever, just, and you know, have portions. Yeah, yeah. so yes. think about your portioning. Go ahead and indulge in these things, but we don't need to overindulge. Enjoy it, because when we overindulge, we kind of, we stop tasting. We, we stop, oh my gosh, this is amazing. The first two to three bites, oh, this is heaven. After that, it's mindful, mindless shoveling. So if you're preparing anything, Look at options. Could I go healthier? Can I get with like, almond flour? Can I? Uh, I don't need bleach flour. Um, what are the healthier options for flour, for sugar? You know, substituting molasses, um, substituting honey for sugar, um, substituting. I do agree with full fat cream on some things because you've got the good fat, and we do need them. And it's just we're only going for a little bit. Look at the veggie dishes. Can I make that green bean casserole without the cream and mushrooms? So can I maybe just do mushrooms and I'm a bacon, onions, you can get those onions nice and crispy in the oven. I mean, there's just options to make those savory holiday dishes and it's just a little bit too. healthier. Yeah. So, yeah. Do we need a pound of butter in our mashed potatoes? Well, maybe, but. <laughs> you know, it, it's, we have to pick and shoot. Again, our biggest thing is gonna be the portioning because don't stress about what you're making for people. Stick to your menu. Try, if the health is your game, then do it. Be mindful of your portioning. Be mindful when you're at the grocery store. Look for the things with less ingredients. If you're cheese and crackers, go for a full fat cheese. Look at the Triscuits in the week. Those are two of your best crackers. Try to stay from, away from risk. Sorry, not to shame a, a brand. They are full of so much crap. So we're gonna get inflammation, we're gonna get brain fog, we're gonna get the guilt, we're gonna get the bloat, so we need to pick and choose, enjoy, but be mindful of what we're doing. And then it's easier as we transfer into that, you know, next year, this is what I'm gonna start off doing. Absolutely. So that is really my whole thing, um, keeping it simple, keeping it real. We're gonna pop back on on Thursday. Um, yeah, and definitely. A little bit more depth. Yeah, so a little bit more depth and holiday stuff uh, for you. But if you could do us a big favor and like this video and subscribe because that really helps out our channel and it really helps us to get us more subscribers. I apologize about the beef in the end, but uh, yes, yeah, so if you could really um, subscribe to us, that would really help us out. And we will see you in the next video. Yes. Bye. Bye.